Hello and welcome. My name is Richie and today I want to talk to you about achievements and why getting at least 5,500 achievement points is what you want to be aiming for. Um, and as well, we're going to craft a few uh, weapon blueprints and ring blueprints as well to see if we can't finally get the legendary weapon at least. Um, I feel like it's about time now, so we'll see what happens in this video anyway. Um, bear with me, I've got an extremely bad cold at the moment, so I'm trying to give it as much energy as I possibly can, but we'll just have to get into it and, uh, and see where we end up with this one. Um, but if I sound a bit different, that's why. So, let's begin with achievements. As you can see at the moment, I've got 3,760 achievement points. It's not great, it's not ideal. Um, if you can you can see on the overall progress I've completed 443 achievements out of 1502 now why you want to be going for at least 5500 achievement points I will explain so go going all the way up achieving all these like 100 300 600 achievement points a thousand all of that um, not much changes with your character in terms of the attributes that you'll get in bonuses although on here at 1500 you get an additional two damage um, and again at 3000 an additional two damage but it's actually when you get to 4000 you're going to get a one percent crit increase which you want at 4500 your crit damage is going to increase by five percent at 5000 another one percent on the crit and then at 5,500, yet another 5% crit damage, which is going to make an enormous difference. So say now I'm hitting around, oh, I'm hitting around 8k DPS fairly consistently. Um, but if I had the additional crit um, increases, that's going to increase it between 8.8 .8 and 9k. DPS, so a whole 1k DPS just from the achievement points alone. So you can really start to see why they're so important to focus on. Um, after 5,500, it starts going into other things like your skill levels, which eventually you'll get around plus five skill levels. So it will be worth it, but you're talking when you get really far down to the additional skill level on like 13,000 points. So it's... Um, you know, I would just say for now, focus on getting that 5,500. A good way of doing it as well is in growth, I've been doing at the moment. And if you go on adventure, what I'm actually doing is going through all the uh, killing achievements. So as you can see, I'm killing X amount of, like, on this one, you can see the Calder Crabs. So I've killed 10,000 of those to get the additional achievement points, 10,000 Dryads. Um, I'm working on Death Caps at the moment. Um, and then the Hoskerises, like all all of these things are very easy achievement points. I mean, you'll get a set of, you'll get 10 achievement points for every 100 of these you kill. So, well, for the first 100 of each that you kill is what I mean. So as you can see here, 100 Razor Fang Wolves, another 10 points, another 10 for killing 100 raptors now you can actually if if we say all right say realistically you're going to kill a thousand of them it really doesn't take long if you just set it to auto combat to do that and then all of a sudden you're going to earn around an additional four to five hundred achievement points from this alone um so really that you know it, it is something to focus on another easy way of getting achievement points is if you go on to your reputation tasks and you're just completing these during the day, like the Q&A here, or um, or what should I go to, like the Naga one as well. Like, all those things, eventually you end up getting achievements for just by naturally completing the game. Same with Strange Events up here as well. You get so many different achievement points for completing so many different things within Strange Events. So that's another very easy way. Um, if you want a separate guide on achievements and you know, and for me to put together a video on the quickest way to achieve 5,500 achievement points, I will do it. Um, but I'll leave that up to the, uh, well, up to you guys to see what you might like to see. Anyway, let's go and start this forging. So I've got two ring blueprints. I'm going to forge them and then I will go on to forge the weapon blueprints. So uh, just going to head over there now. 
Okay, off we go. The weapon blueprints, I actually spent around, oh, I don't know, around 80 odd thousand gold when you include them and all the and all the uh, stones as well for them. So let's see this. Can we get lucky? Uh, no. So we've just got the um, just got the basic rings. I mean, is that better than what I've got? Agility, yeah. I suppose I could take it for the agility alone. Yeah, I'll probably replace one of those. Anyway, let's do the weapons. This is the one where I'm really hoping to get that legendary weapon. If I do, we can have so much fun with the upgrades and that's all I'm looking forward to is just making a video on all the different upgrades that I can do. So anyway, let's go through this set of 10 and see what we end up with. Okay. Ah, uh, come on. Come on. One of these days is going to happen. It has to happen. I'll just keep doing it until we do. I don't care how much gold I have to spend. It's probably going to be more than a million, at which point I should have just bought a holy gold longbow. But we'll see. Two to go. Oh, not even the epics. Come on. Oh, and there we go. Okay, so that's all we're getting. Um, forge 50 pieces of grade B equipment. Okay, so there's there's another title. Not exactly what, not another title, but another achievement. Not the best one in the world. <laughs> Um, oh, and the grade A equipment as well, I got as well, to be fair. Um, all right. Well, there we go then. That's that's this video wrapped up. Um, like I said, if you want to see a more in-depth video on achievements, let me know. Um, and then let me know as well if there, there's anything else that you would like to see specifically. Thank you very much for watching. There'll be a few suggestions on the screen. I Oh, another thing that I want to add quickly. I'm really pleased. I've this is this today actually marks one month exactly one calendar month since I made my first ever gaming video and in that time I've managed to get uh, over 200 subscribers I've managed to achieve um, over 25,000 views combined on my videos um, so I'm really really just thankful that everyone keeps watching uh, hopefully we can you know we can continue to grow in this way and uh, and really get some more content out there that you guys are interested in seeing, such as the in-depth DPS guide for Rangers, Mystics, uh, Warriors as well, a tanking guide. I'm not going to go into the healing guides or anything like that, because Woozle Gaming is making some really, really good uh, content on that at the moment. So if you want to see that, I'd recommend heading over there. Um, and that's everything. Thank you very much. Now, there will be some video suggestions on the screen. Feel free, do what you like. Thank you very much, see you again in the next video, and goodbye.